Hey, it's Catherine from Brand Equip Designs, and I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about finding your purpose or identifying what it is and how to stay on the path of your purpose. Um, and as I do purpose-led branding, this is really not a new subject for me, but I came across a passage today that I really thought succinctly identified or explained what purpose was and um, how to find it. And really what it is, is it's all about learning how to follow your heart, asking yourself certain questions such as what makes me happy, what brings me joy, what lights me up. Um, and rather than trying to think of the answer, you hear the answer in your heart. And that might seem obvious to you, um, but a lot of times it's harder to do than we think because in order to hear with our heart, we have to quiet our mind. And it's, and, and that is, that is hard <laughs> to do. And we need to learn how to listen. Um, so it takes practice and honestly diligence to quiet our minds enough to hear. And then once we actually can hear what our answers are, um, from inside, we need to have the courage to follow it. And a lot of times the fear of actually pursuing what you want to is how you might end up, um, getting out of alignment with your purpose. Um, because when you're following your, your true purpose, um, your, your life probably is going to feel full, a bit more full of joy, energy, uh, and even creativity and all sorts of good, positive things. It, it can bring a lot of meaning to our lives. Um, and when you bring that into the work that you do, it brings meaning to your work. And so going and actually sitting down on Monday morning, like today, it's not a hardship. It's something that you would actually probably be looking forward to throughout the weekend is to go back to work and continue doing what you want to be doing with your life and providing more meaning to other people's lives too. Um, so if when you sit down to work and, you know, something and it stresses you um, and you feel constricted rather than open and you feel like it's chore rather than a joy, then chances are you haven't you're, what you're doing is not in alignment with your purpose. So you either need to first identify what your purpose is, or you need to do some self-reflection and figure out what went wrong, where you got out of alignment. Um, excuse me. And so when you have gotten out of alignment with your purpose, you need to choose again to follow your heart once you find your answers. And again, it's going to be about listening to your heart rather than your head and saying, okay, well, how did I feel when I did this? What made me happy about doing this? And why, like when I started, you know, a certain task, how did I feel? And, um, you know, if you start feeling stressed because of that task, then chances are you might be out of alignment. But it could also just be because of an upper limit problem, which is when, you know, you get in your own way of achieving success. So it's really, it takes a bit of practice to listen to the, the subtle cues that your body and your how you're reacting to your environment is giving you about... Um, your purpose and what you're doing and learning how to read that. So it's not just about answering um, from your inner inner heart, your inner guidance. It's about knowing when what your reactions are, are saying, um, are, are they a cue that you are out of alignment? Is it a cue that you're actually in alignment but really afraid of it? Because that's the other key part of finding and following your purpose is fear. Fear gets in the way so many times. It's going to be one of the constant villains of your life because fear is pretty much 
what keeps holding us back from doing what we want to do with our lives. And, you know, it might be fear of judgment. It might be fear of uh, success. It might be fear of failure. It could be fear of, I don't know what, <laughs> there, are ta- there are many different types of fear. And it has really sneaky ways of showing up. But the thing that you need to remember about fear is that it's not real. It's based purely in our imagination of how we are interpreting a possible outcome in the future. That future could be a second away. It could be a minute away, a week, years, who knows? But the point is, is that it's not actually in your, in the present. It's based off of what you think might happen in the future. And so if you can learn how to live more in the now, in the moment, and not think so much about what's going to happen next, or how you'll feel about what might be happening next, then you'll learn how to not let your fear get in the way of you following your passion and actually live more fully aligned with your purpose because you don't have it holding you back or putting up roadblocks. And, you know, sometimes it's going to happen. You're going to let fear guide you sometimes be, and, and it, cause it's sneaky, you know, but once you have that realization that you are holding yourself back because of this certain fear, that's half the battle. The next part is just having the courage to say, in spite of feeling this, I'm going to do what I want. <laughs> um, so when it comes to finding your purpose, whether it's for the first time or refinding it because it's gotten lost along the way, um, you need to ask yourself questions like, what makes me happy? Um, what lights me up? How do I want to help people? You know, those kinds of things. And rather than listening and with logic um, and thinking about what would probably make the most sense or what you think makes you happy, just learn how to quiet that for a minute or a day <laughs> um, and just just live and listen and to what your heart is really telling you because that's going to be your best guide in this. And I hope that helps you in your journey of finding your purpose. And when you build a business based off of your purpose and a brand based off of your purpose, then the work that you're doing isn't, isn't going to hold you down. You know, you're going to have the courage to face your fears more often in pursuit of fulfilling your purpose because it's something that you deeply care about. And I believe that all business um, should be based on a purpose that is about hmm, showing up in the world more wholly and fully. So if you're interested in figuring out your purpose, I actually can help you do that. It's part of the brand adjustment where we first figure out what your purpose is and then figure out how to align what you do and your brand positioning in order to give you the most powerful success that you can have. So if you're interested, I invite you to come over to thebrandequip.com and check out the services that I have to offer. Um, That service in particular is the brand adjustment, and it's what I need to do with all of my clients before I will build out a brand wardrobe because the purpose and the positioning and the strategy is what comes first. So I hope that was helpful and I will talk to you guys later, probably tomorrow. Bye for now.